Yo, what's up family? This is Sensei from Ride Fit Nation. Welcome to the channel. It's been a while since I made a video because I've been taking a break and I want to talk to y'all really fast about some stuff that's been going on and I hope that you take this message and listen to this message and take heed to it because let me just wipe the sweat off my face, man, because I'm here working because there's a lot going on right now and if you're not paying attention to it, you're going to be left behind. I'm going to read something, right? And it's all about where, we, where we're headed right now and it's a lot that's going on. So check it out. Is this just a real quick information about inflation? And um, it says inflation has been brutal over the past few years after decades of running below 3% starting early 2021. The consumer price index increased rapidly as the economy opened back up after COVID related lockdowns. It peaked at 9.1% in June 22nd and then declined to its current level of 3.2% per the Bureau of Labor Statistic data. I got this from Forbes, right? So basically, they're saying that the cost went back down, but we know it did not. When I go shopping and I buy a few little things, I'm gonna give you an example. I took my family out to go eat at, um, at Chili's and we got, I got me a little dessert. My wife got a chicken quesadilla. My daughter got some chicken strips with some french fries. My son got a bigger version of chicken strip with french fries and, and two drinks. I got water. It was like $78 for that little bit of food. And I was like, what the hell? I could have went, sh went shopping and bought a whole bunch of stuff from, from Costco, the supermarket, whatever. But it was family day out, so I didn't mind spending the money. But my point is this. The money is going fast and we're just spending 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 so i'm just going to talk to you guys who have motorcycles you just bought your bike maybe you have your bike and you got some things you're thinking about doing i'm gonna be real with you right i have two motorcycles i have a, a 2022 road glide and i have a 2005 soft tail deluxe both of them is customized collectively i would say i put in probably about forty thousand dollars collectively not being funny right Per bike because I bought my bike, I bought my Road Glide brand new, and I, I I changed out the motor, I changed out the whole rear fender, I changed out the handlebars, changed out the cables, I changed out, I got everything powder coated, I changed out the whole front end, the interfering, I got lights, I did all plus my soft tail, did a whole man so much work right, but I'm not regretting the work that I did. It's already done, but I'm trying to talk to you guys right now. Yeah, I know it's tempting to get your bike set up we're going into the winter time and it's a great time to bring your bike into the shop to get the paint job you want to get the stereo system you want to put in which is going to probably run you 35 to four thousand dollars and that's minimum right you might find a good guy that's giving something for like 1500 bucks but we know we, we ain't gonna get that you're gonna get four thousand dollars and more and then you want to get the paint job if you got a road glide you got a lot of parts of paint so we're looking at about 65 to seven thousand dollars and depending on what you want to get, that could easily be $15,000. You want to get the fat tie in the front. You want to get the powder coat. You want to get the 124 kit, the 128, all of that. I get it, right? New handlebars, new this, new that. Yo, if your motorcycle is working, don't worry about spending all that money right now. Just focus a lot on the comfortability of your bike. Okay, you want the handlebars. I get it. Get the handlebars. That's fine. But all of the excess type of cosmetics and all this stuff. I'm just trying to give you guys some fair warning, man. We got to be smarter with our money. We have to be smarter with how we're spending because the temperature of the government right now is going crazy. The world is going crazy. Look what's happened in Iran and Israel. Look what happened the other day when all these people decided they wanted to strike at the ports and everybody was, was, was out there buying this and buying that with some spoiled mentality. America is a very spoiled place and I know that for a fact because I don't understand what, what people's obsessions are with freaking toilet tissue. What are, what are people's obsession with toilet tissue? They did it during the COVID and they're doing it now again, okay? So look at those little trinkets, little things, right? The other day, Biolab, about 30 minutes from where I'm at, exploded, putting all these, these chemicals in the air, destroying people. And I'm pretty sure years from now, people are going to come out sick and it's going to be a major lawsuit. Okay, look at these storms that's hitting. Helene just hit. Now we got a massive storm. It went from a category four to a category five. We got people right now <laughs> leaving their homes in Florida. I, I, there's a lady that was like, yeah, if people decide they want to stay, they're going to die. 
And she said it just like that. There was no smiling. There was none. There was nothing. And I'm going to tell you guys, man, we got FEMA that's giving like $750 per home, not per person and per <laughs> 750 bucks to people who got impacted, who didn't have any flood insurance at all in Florida and all these other states that got smacked, South Carolina, North Carolina, some of Georgia. You see what I'm saying? So you don't know where your money's coming from. If you're not making money from your investments, if you don't have uh, an income that comes in while you're sleeping, if you don't know where the next dollar's coming from, then take it easy on spending money on these bikes. Harley Davidson's are expensive. I get it. They are expensive. And you know what? Harley Davidson knows that they're expensive, but they still sell us bikes that got all these issues and all this other stuff. See, I'm not on that bandwagon with everybody else. You ain't going to see me out there test riding this bike or test riding that bike. I ain't going to be doing that. That's not my life. I bought my motorcycle. I love my bike. Great work. But guess what? I did all the work on it because I didn't love the way the bike was built. Okay, that's just me being real, right? But you got to look at your life right now and just plan for the future. Take your time. I don't know if what I'm saying to you right now is making any sense whatsoever. You're like, yo, who this dude talking to? This dude don't know what the hell he's talking about. Okay, that's fine. I'll leave it at that. But all I'm telling you guys is take your time. Don't go wasting money right now because I'm telling you, the economy is about to do some crazy stuff. It's about to go crazy. The political mindset right now is crazy. We got people who's fighting, people who's arguing. I got people who stopped talking to me because I chose a, a, a one specific party over another party. I don't get involved in political wars. I don't get involved in that. The Kamala, the Trumps. I don't get involved in none of this bull crap. Because at the end of the day, the only person that's going to run your life is you. That's it. And the most high God. That's it. You see what I'm saying? So you got to be more mindful you got to be more fearful. Don't live your life every day like as if you're a billionaire or a millionaire because we're not. I know a few millionaires right now who is, who is panicking because the stock market is doing like this and that and that. Okay, some stocks is going up, some stocks is going down. That is not my expertise, but I could only relay the message to you guys in what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing and how I'm feeling. You see what I'm saying? So like right now in my group me thread, I just put a group me uh, in my group me chat for the Ride Fit Nation team. I literally told these people that I'm done riding for the rest of the year. I'm riding local, but I'm done with the long distance rides. Why? Because I realize, well, I don't realize. All right, let's get this. Let's, let's, let's just put this out there. I'm not a broke guy. Okay, I'm not a broke person. By no means am I broke. I have been making a living. I'm 48 years young. I'm self-employed. I work from home. I work digitally. I do a whole lot of things in my life to make sure that my family is good. Okay, we got that out the way. I'm not saying I'm a rich person, but according to the rest of the world, we are rich. According to the rest of the world, we got that part settled. Good. So now I'm I'm doing the math. My last big ride was I rode from here to Canada. Okay, I spent two nights in a hotel going, two nights in a hotel coming back. That's about five hundred dollars plus right there, plus food, plus gas, plus a quarter flat tire. That was hundred and twenty bucks I had to pay, I believe. It would have been $700 if I didn't have my coverage. So you see how fast the money's going up? A lot of people don't realize when you're ground pounding, you're ground pounding because you love it. But at the same time, that's a lot of money. So I'm doing the math and I'm like, yo, I need to get rid of certain bills right now. So why am I doing all this? So I stopped and every dime I was going to go to Galveston. Then after Galveston, I was going to go to California. Yo, that's going to be October 29th. No, October 29th to, to November... 2nd of November 3rd, and then I was going to head to California, right? That would have been a, a whopping $3,000 right there. See, people are not thinking about that. Going to hotels, remember, you're doubling. You're doing whatever you pay going, you're going to pay coming back. So what did I do? I took some of that money and I put toward paying up some of my bills. So a lot of YouTubers, and if you're a YouTuber watching this video, what I'm going to say is to you as well. Stop making these videos and trying to impress subscribers because subscribers at the end of the day, they don't really care. They'll watch your video. They go watch another person's video. If you disappear from the world right now, they'll be like, yo, we're such and such. And they go right to their business. Okay. You don't need to spend so much money to try to gain followers or subscribers. It's not that important. If people genuinely love what you do, they stay, they vibe with who you are, just stick to who you are. Don't go out there trying to do this and do that, spending this, spending that, and, and, and trying to look like a baller when you know you're not a baller. That's a fact. I'm not a baller. 
See, I do what I do. If I get sponsorship for certain things, which I'm thankful to Hogworks, uh, Tabs, uh, Ciro, I'm thankful to those companies, um, Psychosmiths. You know, these companies put things to me and help me out, which is fantastic, but I'm still coming out of pocket, right? So all my YouTubers, this is, I'm telling you, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Be you, be you. That's, that's the only way you're going to attract people. That's what I've learned in business over the years. When you try to be somebody different, it's not going to work out well because the real you is going to eventually show up. All right? So don't break your pockets. Think about your family. Think about your future. So now I'm going back to everybody. I'm going back to everyone. This channel right here is not about just riding motorcycles. I have a lot of talent and I have a whole lot of experience that I'm, I've been giving to you guys. I know most of you don't want to see these talking videos. You want to see riding, 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 riding. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, you get riding, you get riding stuff. I'm not here to entertain that. There's a whole lot of riders on YouTube that you can go and watch. You can go and see. A lot of them are real. Some of them are not. I'm going to tell you that now. A lot of them are real. Some of them are not. You're looking at a cat who's real. And I'm all about growth. I'm all about expanding in my life. I'm not here to play games. I'm 48 years young. I have three kids. I have a 27-year-old son. I have a 14-year-old son. And I have an 11-year-old daughter. I have a four-year-old dog. How about that? So my mission is not, is not, I'm not here to play games. 50 more years from now, I'm gone. I'm dead. I mean, I might be 98. Who knows? But I'm going to assume that 50 more years from now, I'm gone. I'm dead. I want to make sure that my family is taken care of. You feel me? So I am putting the energy into my business. I'm putting the energy into my health coaching business. I'm going to be talking to you guys about health. I'm going to be talking to you guys about getting yourself together. Mostly to the men. I got a couple of ladies following me on this channel, but I'm going to get more ladies following me on this channel because Ride Fit Nation is not about the riding part by itself. There's the word fit and there's the word nation. So listen to what I'm trying to tell you guys. No. Refrain. Not what I'm trying to tell you. Listen to what I'm telling you. Take it easy. Check your spendings. Be mindful of your day. Be mindful of your actions. Because the future is grim. And it could also be bright. But it all boils down to what you want to do with it. Alright? This is Sensei. I'm done here. Let's keep on getting these miles. Let's get the money. Let's get these muscles. See, a lot of y'all playing around with the, with the money and the muscles. But y'all ain't playing around with the miles. I get it. But I'm going to get y'all because I'm a share. Do me a favor. In the comments, leave some of the health struggles you have. What are some of the things you got going on with you right now? And if you need to get some coaching, some health coaching, and you don't have that ego, and you need somebody that you can talk to, I do health coaching. I'm introducing that to this channel. Not my other channel, but to this channel. It's $150. Bucks. This, is a, this is a discount to my Ride Fit Nation team. It's $150 for one hour to sit down and we brainstorm what you need to work on to get your health on track. Don't play around with your, with your health, okay? So this is Sensei. Once again, let's get these miles. Let's get this money. Let's get these muscles. I'll see you soon. I'll leave the link in the video, on the video, on the bottom of the video, and I'll even put a QR code on this video so you can take your phone and book your schedule, all right? I'm out of here. Let's keep on grinding. Peace.